So here we are, it's 2020, and Britain is in a state of serious flux. The union is looking in jeopardy, and we're all worrying about what nationalism is and what patriotism is. And it seemed like a moment to think about British music uh, starting in, let's say, 1150 um, and coming up to 2020 and thinking about what that is and how it's affected by the history of Britain and how it's affected by immigration. So um, we want to do this through the medium of a vile consort, which was a kind of ensemble that was very much at the heart of British music in the 16th and 17th centuries. Hi, I'm Richard Boothby. I'm a founder member of Fretwork. Fretwork is uh, a concert of vials and the vile concert has well, had its heyday in the 16th and 17th century. It started at the time of Henry VIII and bowed out round about the Civil War. But it was very much revived after the Second World War. And we've been commissioning composers now for about 30 years to write new music for the viols. What we haven't really done is combine viols with any kind of electronic medium and that media. Uh, and that seemed to me to be a very important element of contemporary music at the moment, something that we hadn't been involved in. And so we're thinking of a project with the Vile Consort Fretwork, which is a kind of uniquely adventurous Vile Consort, to do uh, arrangements, versions, remixes of British music of all kinds. So it might be old music by Talis, it might be music by The Clash, um, but it's all put through the medium of the Vile Consort and an electronic musician of some kind. <laughs> I'm really excited to be part of this Albion project, it's really timely and um, though I've come on with the electronic side of things, actually I'm thrilled to be working with the vials because it's just, they've got such a wonderful sound and they do have this essential kind of historical Britishness to them and as we try out different genres of songs and of instrumental pieces on the vials, it somehow crystallises a British sound in a way. And then the electronics is going to help tell the story, I think. It's going to enhance the historical aspects. We're going to create a kind of cinematic journey, I think. Use deep bass sounds, some sampling, possibly some looping, field recordings, found sounds, crackly wax discs. We might even have a gramophone player on stage. So we're really going to get this feeling of going back into the past. and not looking with just rose-tinted spectacles, but accepting the past for what it was, but also shining a kind of clear light on it. And the music will really hopefully give us a, a deeper insight. So we see it as a, a kind of a soul-searching project that I think a lot of people will be able to connect to and identify with. Um, so we're, going to, we're all going to work together and we're going to invite um, many other composers uh, to contribute. 
in order to get the widest possible range of, of kind of British experience, I suppose you could say, and kind of open the, open the project up um, as far as we possibly can. During this time of lockdown and isolation, as fretwork, we're wondering how we can continue to create as artists and also how we can continue to contribute to the cultural life of the nation. With this project Albion, um, we hope that we can reach a really wide community of music lovers. Um, the music that we're planning to record and to play is from many different musical genres and it cuts across a lot of the usual musical divides. So we really hope that we can speak to a lot of people. But also it, um, it raises questions of identity which we think are important to all of us living in the UK today. On a practical level, this project Albion is perfect for starting in isolation. We can get going on our own, multi-tracking the pieces individually and adding the electronics later. Um, and then working towards eventually presenting it live, hopefully. As a group, we're looking for ways to stay connected, uh, both between ourselves, which is really important so we maintain a sense of uh, being a chamber ensemble, but also maintaining connection with our audiences. And we really hope that we can continue to share our unique sound and our unique voice.